Hello everyone, welcome to Carrie's Crochet and Craft. I am here in my hobby room getting ready for the market that I have tomorrow. So I thought I'd do a little video with you, do a little market prep, and uh, just kind of get things packed up. I need to have things ready to go. I need to leave by 7 o'clock in the morning. And I'm not a morning person, so that's always fun. Uh, I wanted to show you some of the Amagurumi plushies that I have been making uh, the past week and a half or so. And I'd like to get some more made tonight, um, just some small things, and um, I'll do that after I get every what I have all packed up already. So I'm just going to run through these real quick, show you what I have made so far, and then get things in the containers. So I have some on the other side of the bed here, just a moment. All right. So I don't know if you saw my Temu order opening where I opened up that dish pan that was the cutting board that was foldable. So <laughs> I already had this little basket and then I had bought this other little um, kind of dish pan or fo foot soaking tub um, in a previous order. So I like to fill these up with the amigurumis as I'm inside the house, just gives me a local place a localized place, centralized place to put things. So, um, I'll go through these and show you what I have made. So I just used uh, some of the Hobby uh, Baby Snuggle, I think it was, and I made these two octopus. They're so cute. And there's another colorway of this, I think a uh, green and blue, that I'm still going to make one out of, but they're so soft. Um, then I also made two out of, these are the um, Just Chenille by Premier from Dollar Tree. I think those are all of that type of octopus that I have made so far. I want to make more of these tonight out of the other colors that I have. I have yellow and gray and purple and a light blue. I don't know if I have any more of the teal, but um, I'll make up these from whatever colors I have left. Then I made some fried eggs. I have one, I think I only made one of these so far, one large one. This is out of just a blanket yarn. Then I have a small one that's an angry face. <laughs> and then I made two green eggs. <laughs> I was making these one day and I'm like, man, it should be awesome if I could just use different colors to make these, but eggs, I mean, they're yellow, right? So I thought green eggs, green eggs and ham. I just don't have any ham to go with them, but these have been pretty popular at the last two events that I did. So I made more of those. Okay, then I made some of the chonky mushroom guys and I love using this, um, now I can't remember what it's what kind it is. Uh, it's from Hobby Lobby. It's a t velvet twist or something like that. And um, so I love using that as the mushroom cap. And then I use blanket yarn for the base. So I have that colorway. Oops. This slightly different colorway. And then this one, <clears throat> same color top as the first one I showed you, but with kind of a brownish stem instead. Oh, anyway, I have four of those. These I usually sell, I have been selling for 12, but I think I might up them to 15. And these I've sold for eight. I might keep them at that, but I might also bump them up to 10. The fried eggs I have had at 10 for the small ones and then 12 for the large ones. I might keep those prices, but I might also put this up to 12 for these and 15 for the big. We'll kind of play it by ear and see. All right, I have made two bees. And somehow they ended up different sizes. It must have used a different size heart, not yarn, different sized hook. So you can see one's just a little bit smaller than the other. So two bees made. And then 
I think these are really cute. I don't particularly care for these critters in real life. I thought I made another one. But maybe I only have two. I'm pretty, pretty sure I made a third one though, but I made these adorable opossums. So I have two of those. I'm pretty sure I have a third one though. I'll have to look for it. I made three chickens. And I used that red that I got from Temu. I used that as their combs. Let's see if we can focus on those. <laughs> They're so cute. And this is what this is gonna be good for. Let's see if I can, there we go. Check it out. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> and I need more though to fill it up, but I'll just fill it with other things like I made two of these brown bears. I made these out of the hobby brown that I just got. Um, instead of the, it's the honey bunny from hobby. Um, I've made these out of the just chenille and I like them. The, they're, these are going to be a little bit bigger than the ones out of the just chenille. Um, so I only made it out of this brown for now. For the frogs, the leggy frogs. I have made two out of each of these types of yarn. So I used the Temu uh, blanket yarn that I got, that I opened up just the other day. And uh, these, this blanket yarn works up thicker than the brunette blanket. I used the same, I probably used a different size hook because this yarn is quite a bit thicker than this yarn. So the leggy frogs I've been selling, I think the small ones, I only had the small ones before. And I was selling them for, I think, eight, but I will probably up them to ten. Um, maybe twelve for the larger ones. Then I made, I, ha I know I have another one. So this one and the, uh, the other opossum must be hiding out somewhere. I made little, tiny little octopus out of this green, and then I made one out of another color. I wonder where that is. I'll have to look for it, but it's a slightly different pattern than this one. Oh. <laughs> the tentacles are made in a slightly different way, and of course the body is designed to be a little bit smaller. I made one happy little blueberry. My first time making the blueberries. Kind of cute. We'll see if he sells. I don't know if I'm going to make more tonight. Then I've made one of these, or one of these, not, not every color, but almost every color that I have. I didn't do green flowers, um, so but I did these little daisy-like flowers, and I did it in this teal blue. I did yellow with a white center, so like a yellow daisy. Then I did yellow with a brown center for a sunflower. I did a kind of monochrome or black and white style, so I have white with black and black with white. Then I did white with the yellow for the classic daisy look. And then the rest I did light blue, a mango, light pink, and the lavender color. So those are all of the small amigurumi, oops, no it's not, I just made this guy. <laughs> This cute little alligator. Uh, I found this pattern on Instagram. It was a really hard pattern to follow. Um, just some of the directions, like doing the feet, were not very clear. Um, and then starting it out even, they were just were not very clear and concise in their directions. So I had to, <laughs> I mean, even in the post, she was correcting some of the stuff that she had had written it up, but um, it definitely needs to be rewritten. I was able to get it worked out, although I, I'm still not sure that the feet are the way they're supposed to be, but anyway, I think he's very cute, uh, despite the fallacy of the written instructions. Very cute otherwise. Okay, so I showed you the displays that I'm going to have. Obviously, I need more bees if I'm going to fill all of these little hexagons. I also got some table covers. Um, I've been doing just regular tablecloths that are really long that reach down to the ground so on either side I have four foot tables. 
and I have a blue one and I have a light green one and I have a medium green one and I have a really bright green one and then I have a red one and it's not very um, coordinated uh, you know they're covered with product anyways so doesn't really matter but I decided to get some of these fitted tablecloths that stretch and go down um, around the feet of the tables and I love this eggplant color so I got three of these to go on my three um, four foot tables at Dollar Tree I found these for making price signs I have been trying to do like price tags on my products like this here I found these really cute they're not like business cards but they're like little thank you cards they say oops thank you on one side and then on the other side you can have it say what you want it's my business name my hobby business it's not really a real business um, and then my email address and my phone number so um, I've been using those I just punch a hole in it write the price tag at the bottom and then um, attach it on but that goes through a lot especially when you have a bunch of these little ones so I have these tubs I'll have this and of course the hexagons as a display I have another wooden display really neat looking that I got from Hobby Lobby um, that I'll use but I started getting these plastic tubs at Dollar Tree to hold all of the little amigurumi so like these could maybe hold the possums like that um, or the little bears so I have this long skinny kind I have these flat kinds in different sizes this one is a little different it has it's deeper a little bit bigger then I have this oops another one of those then I have these kind and these kind can stack if you want them to I think it makes it difficult to see like the product that's in there if it's all stacked so I just put them to, on the table beside each other um, and these are nice because um, you can dry erase uh, mark on them so you could write the prices on here with the dry erase markers so I got these for putting all the amigurumi in as well as uh, those other display things and instead of putting tags on them I'm going to be using these whiteboards making sure I have all the different kinds these whiteboards that I found at Dollar Tree so this one's a hexagon and it will hang so I have some ways to hang things in my booth so that for the things that are hanging I can hang these signs next to them then on the table I found this little a stand a frame stand and um, it's got the dry erase thing on top and um, there were some that would stand straight up with a base like this and they were nice and I like them but um, when you're at a table that's down here I think it's better to have the thing that's slanted up so you can see the prices better personal opinion on that um, I went for the dry erase board versus the chalkboard ones that I saw there because I didn't I couldn't find any of the chalk chalkboard markers chalk markers and I didn't want to use regular chalk and I don't want to have to try to track down chalk markers dry erase markers are ever so much easier to find and keep track of so um, I just went with the dry erase versus the chalkboard even though the chalkboard has a really cool look to it I found this other little a-frame and I thought I'd put a little hook on the top and or it's got a little ledge here and I can put a sign that's got my like Venmo um, QR code on it or just the sign that says I take card um, that kind of thing any, any little informational sign that I want to put there this is not a dry erase board it's just um, just a panel looking piece of wood so that does it for what I have made so far um, like I said I'm gonna pack this up and go just crochet away the rest of the night and then get things in the car for tomorrow morning so um, you can stick around as I pack it up
right, so that does it for packing up what I have done so far. Um, these I'll probably move out to the garage so that in the morning I can just grab them and put them in the van and be ready to go. I do have a few other boxes, a couple other boxes out in the, sh the shop, in the garage, um, with just some other random things that I've made, uh, but not as interesting and fun as the amigurumi. <laughs> but I'll probably show them tomorrow. I'll try to take my camera and get some shots of setting up, or at least after it's set up, uh, we'll see how it turns out. But for the rest of tonight, I am going to go now and see about putting some more plushies in my little baskets here. Thanks for joining me as I get ready for the market tomorrow. We'll see you later. Bye.